Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you a clear idea about the difference between inline elements and block level elements in HTML. So an inline element which takes as much space as they need and add contents without any line break. For example, if I add some contents in between strong tag, anchor tag and image tag in different lines, they're going to add up into one single line. While a block level element tags full line or full width of a web page and creates a line break automatically. So when I put something in between paragraph tag, they're going to take one line. And when I'll put something in H1 tag, they're going to add these contents into a different line. So let me show you the things in real life example. So I'm going to take you to the code editor here. And at first I'm going to add strong tag here. And in between strong tags, I'm going to put something. This is strong text as an example. Let's save this document. And if I just reload this page or open this page in a tab, we are going to see that our paragraph has been appeared here. Now, let's say I want to add an image right after the strong tag. So let me take the image tag and then I'm going to put the source, which I have got the image here, pp.jpg. So I'm going to put the name here, pp.jpg. Now, if I just save this page, although I have written these quotes in two different lines, but you are going to see these things are appearing in one single line. So let me reload this page. Just take a look. In one single line, I have got this information. Now, let's move back here and we are going to take a link or actually anchor tag here. So let's take anchor tag and I'm going to put, let's say, my website link, which is acharurafi.com. So I'm going to go back here in the code and let's paste it and in between the tag i'm going to put visit my website and now let's save this one just reload this page and you are going to see that this line also been added into this specific field or actually specific line now let's add a block level element into our code editor here so let's put let's say a paragraph and in between paragraph this is a paragraph all right and now if i just save this document and reload this page just guess what it is going to do it is going to come up here in a new line so let me reload this page and just take a look this is a paragraph in a new line now let's add another block level element here and i'm going to add let's say h1 or h2 whatever you want and this is our heading now let's save this document and reload this page just take a look we have got another line created automatically okay so now let me make it more clear to you let's say i want to give a background color to this strong text and we're going to see that it will take the spaces or as much space as they need okay and after that i'm going to colorize this text or let's say this paragraph text so that you will see that this color will take the full width of this web page so let's do this i'm going back and for the strong tag i'm going to use let's say style and let's say background color and i'm going to put yellow and now if i just save this document and go back here reload this page just take a look it is just taking as much spaces as it needs okay and now if i just do the same styling into this paragraph then you are going to see the difference so let's go back here and i'm going to add this style tag and background color again yellow and now let's save this one let's reload this page just take a look it has covered the full width of the web page okay so this is the difference so this is an inline element which is taking as much spaces as it needs and it just adds up all the contents in one single line but when we are working with a block level element it is taking the full width of a web of a line and then it is taking a line break for the next element okay so this is how block level element works and inline element works so now if i just change the background color for this one so that you will be able to uh, see the difference here so let's add 
here style and I'm going to put background color to yellow again and let's save this file reload this page just take a look it is taking as much space as it is as it is need but if I just select this one so let me go back here and style background color yellow now let's save this document reload this page it is going to take the full width of the web page so that was the difference between a block level element and an inline element in html so i hope you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends let me know your opinion by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in near future i have to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching